Hey everyone, it's Facebook question of the week time and I am very sorry to say that Cheap 60 Productions has not produced this for me because I've been on the road so much, it's kind of crazy, um, that we've had not been able to have a chance to get together. So Tony, I'm very sorry that this is off the cuff and not pretty and edited like you do so well. So we'll get back together soon, I promise, I promise, I promise. And that's not crossing my fingers because I'm lying, it's because I promise. Um, so anyway, I wanted to do a quick video because it's been a few weeks since I've done one and a fun question from Lori Windham came in that said, how has building implementing a social media strategy changed in the last three to four years as it's become more prevalent? Topic near and dear to my heart. Um, it's funny because, you know, I do a lot of speaking and I've been speaking to Vistage Groups, a CEO organization for, gosh, probably four years, three and a half years. And in the beginning, it was very much, you know, this stuff is a fad. It's a trend. It's for my kids. My wife spends time on it, but it's not really affecting our business. And I actually did a speaking engagement yesterday with one of the groups and it really has changed. It's become okay, we totally get it, it's not a fad, it's, to it's completely here. Not only do we have to figure out how to do it, but the people inside our organizations are using it and we don't know how to communicate with them. If we don't know how to communicate with the people inside our organizations, then we definitely haven't figured it out from a, a customer and prospect perspective. So I think it's changed from that perspective, but I also think that we finally are in a, in a situation where, where we can harness the wild, wild west of social media. I always make the joke that a social media expert is somebody with a Twitter account and a keyboard and I think that the cream is definitely starting to rise to the top and the people that are really really can implement a sound strategy from a social perspective are those that understand how to do it from a marketing and communications perspective not by any means to say that it doesn't belong to customer service or HR or sales or any of the other disciplines but that if you're going to, going to be using social to communicate externally with customers and with prospects, stakeholders, influencers, and all of that, it definitely needs to come from a marketing and communications perspective. So it's those people that understand how to integrate that into a larger strategy that are going to win. It's pretty exciting because it's definitely not a fad and it definitely is a lot a way that we are changing the way that we communicate. It's actually fundamentally changing the way that we communicate. So that's um, my answer to that. I could actually talk about it all day, so I will short. I will close myself off right there. If you have a question for us, go to facebook.com slash Dietrich. Leave it on the wall there, and I will answer it in the coming week. See you soon.